Mary Fairclough held the position of still room maid in 1846. She would have lived in the house, sharing one of the small bedrooms on the top floor with other female servants. Her role was to assist the housekeeper in the still room with making jams and pickles and bottling and preserving fruits and in the pastry room with making pastries and cakes. She carried out these tasks under the watchful eye of the housekeeper, who was responsible for the smooth running of the household. In the still room, she would have been responsible for making up breakfast trays for the family and their guests, again supervised by the housekeeper. Other duties included grinding beans to make coffee, and making tea and hot chocolate, which were all popular beverages in Victorian times. She was paid 12 pounds a year and spent another two years at the house following the royal visit.